YouTube and welcome back to the Silver Swanner channel. This is the 16th video in my US typeset series and today we're cracking more proof sets. So today we're going to be adding the 2004 and 2005 Westward Journey nickel sets. Now the mint has a history of producing commemorative coins uh, that supplant the existing circulating coins of that particular denomination. So the most recent examples that probably you are familiar with would be the America the Beautiful coins, the state quarters before that back in 1976, the Bicentennial quarters. We also opened the 2009 Lincoln Bicentennial pennies in a earlier video. So the nickels and in particular, this nickel series was the first time the mint had produced nickels that were commemorative nickels that replaced the circulating nickels. That being said, uh, there were four individual nickels that were produced between 2004 and 2005. So the 2004 set here, it features the traditional Jefferson obverse divide designed by Felix Schlage. Uh, that was the design that was initially produced from 1938 through 2008. The reverses of the 2004 were a Indian peace medal and a keel boat. So the Indian peace medal was meant to signify the peace between the United States and the Indians and that was designed by Norman Nebeth. Then the keel boat commemorates the Lewis and Clark expedition. So that's another good point. What were these westward journeys actually commemorating? Uh, so they were commemorating the Louisiana Purchase, the Lewis and Clark expedition. So uh, after the United States had bought the Louisiana Purchase, they sent the Lewis and Clark expedition across the country to start mapping and exploring this new territory. Also, the purchase and the authorization of the expedition occurred while Thomas Jefferson was president. And again, he's the president that's featured on the obverse of the nickel. So in 2005, they produced a new obverse, and that obverse was produced for that year only, and it was produced by Joe Fitzgerald. The obverse, interestingly, I found, also features the word liberty on it, and the script of that word liberty, the typeface that it said in, was actually lifted from the word liberty as Thomas Jefferson had written it in the Declaration of Independence. So we'll take a look at that when I take you in and we add these coins to the album. So for the reverse of the 2005, one of them features a buffalo, so an homage to the buffalo nickel. Again, one of my favorite themes, if you've seen a lot of my videos, are the Indian and buffaloes are, are very representative of a Indian motif, being such a crucial part to Indian life in the plains. Then finally, the last 2005 reverse is the ocean in view, oh the joy. So that commemorates the completion of the mission that Lewis and Clark was given to reach the Pacific Ocean. And that was something, that line, Ocean in View, Oh the Joy, was actually a journal entry from William Clark, half of the Lewis and Clark expedition. So, as always, after we add this to the book, I will feature some updated album photos, and finally at the end, I will share with you my running costs. So let me take you in, and let's get to adding these coins to the album. And welcome back, everybody. So let's crack these open literatively and figuratively, and take a look here. So these sets actually featured the Philadelphia, the San Francisco, and the Denver. Well, this is the Philadelphia and Denver, but all, all the same. So we're going to be adding the proof ones. Uh, when I can get proof coins, certainly that's going to be my preference to add to the album here. And here are the reverses. 
So again, this is to commemorate the Louisiana Purchase, and that's supposed to signify a, a Jefferson Peace Medal. So I guess they used to give peace medals to the Indians, or Native Americans rather, when they uh, signed a peace agreement and they would wear those. They were usually large silver medals. And then this is the keel boat that depicts the setting off of or the traveling of the Lewis and Clark expedition. So uh, the ones that I don't add here, uh, I'm actually going to flip up and I'll put those in my nickel album uh, when I get a more modern nickel album. All right, and then the 2005 set here. So this is the, the one year obverse here. And again, these are our Denver's, our San Francisco, our proofs. We'll add those and our Philadelphia's here. The reverse features the buffalo there. And then the ocean in view, oh, the joy to commemorate the reaching of the Pacific for the Lewis and Clark expedition. All right, so let's go ahead and get to adding these. Let's crack these first. feel like they're need a little bit more persuading here I don't want to damage the coins here too much just need to get my finger under one of these edges there we go Here. So this is actually the 2004 first. Let's go to the modern page here then. And we're going to feature the reverses here. So this is going to be our Lewis and Clark. You can see that nice proof finish. So oh, that's a little bit of dust, and that, that looks like a, a mark in the fields there, right, right here, if you can see it. Oh, that's what happens when you get these 10 years later, right? They're usually picked over pretty well, and I'm sure that's what happened here. Those aside because we're going to add those in a bit to some flips. Let's not do that over the coins. That set can part much better. Got a little bit of spotting right there. But we're not going to put that one in the album anyway. All right, and then American Bison is here. Get you sit pretty, there you go. And Ocean in View, oh the joy. And there we are, some more proof sets cracked. So stay with me as I show you the full updated album and give you an updated of my running costs. And here are the updated album photos. I'd usually go to the following page the next week, but I don't have any gold, so we'll be going to the penny page next week. And here are my updated running costs. I paid $6 for the Westward Journey nickel set uh, for both of them. And I paid $4.14 in shipping. I actually bought these at the same time I bought the Lincoln Bicentennial. So I split that shipping evenly across them. That brings my updated running cost for the entire set to 
$743.88 for the coins, $28.48 in shipping for a grand total of $772.36.